Yo, it's Death of the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Yo, what's the word, gang? So, Suge Knight finally admits, you know who he think killed Tupac. Now, it's been about 27 years, and, you know, we ain't even heard the new podcast. I think in the first episode, how he was saying... No, actually, it wasn't even the first episode. Right before they started the podcast, he had did um, a couple of media runs, like far as releasing some audio to a few bar bloggers and shit and uh basically he was saying that he'll never tell you know what i'm saying do he think keefe d did it no he don't you know what i'm saying he also mentioned that he don't think orlando orlando uh anderson had did it but um after 27 years Shug knight finally admits who he thinks is responsible for tupac's death now y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know who y'all think this is but as you can see from the tweet this guy little guy is responsible for the demise of tupac and it's an arrow pointing to the dude you know pictured with suge knight and tupac now as you can look at the picture look how suge knight is looking at the guy you know what i'm saying and the media going crazy right now they like yo is suge knight snitching is this some real og shit it's for him to be speaking on or is he just coming clean after 27 years? Now, y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, also, breaking news, G. Depp from um, Bad Boy, he was granted clemency after, what is it, he got locked up in 2010. So almost 13 years later, the governor of New York gave him clemency in regards to coming home with a sentence reduction. So we'll hear in the news if he's going to get out early or not. He still got to go to the parole board. But that clemency definitely is going to help him in his situation. Now, back to Suge Knight. Now, if y'all haven't been checking out the Collect Calls podcast, Suge Knight has spoke on Snoop Dogg. Even said that Snoop Dogg had knew not to come that night to Vegas. Said something about the radios. How did he know about the radios? How did he even have a radio? You know, only people who supposed to have a radio is security, which was back in the day, Wright security, which is Reggie Wright. So it's a lot been coming out the past few weeks in regards to Suge Knight and Tupac, you know, especially after the arrest of Keefe D. Now, if it's also an update on Keefe D. Keefe D basically uh, went to court the other day and uh, he's asking the judge to let him out on an OR. So he don't even want really so much a bond. If y'all familiar with an OR is, it's on recordings and basically that's you're not paying anything. They gonna let you out. Because they don't feel that you are run, you will be a flight risk, and they don't charge you no money. They just OR it, you know. And that is crazy, you know, especially knowing how Keefe D read in a book. He wrote a book or whatever and um, done a whole lot of podcasts. I'm sure he got paid. But in this situation, he's using a public attorney, y'all. A public attorney, you know, and... um. You would think after 27 years, you would put some money to the side just in case this should ever come down and hit the fan where, you know, it's a possibility where, like Keefe D situation, he's arrested, you know. So, again, man, y'all getting comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I possibly might go live on this a little later. If y'all get these likes up, man, get the likes up to a 1,000 for us, y'all. Let's get this in the algorithm. Let's push forward. Shout out to 105,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate the support. But um, until the next one, gang.